Hello everybody, JP here. As you can see, this was my blackberry bush. Kinda got out of hand. It started going in and hitting on the blueberries. Started trying to take them out. And as you can see, it was going into my panister and everything. So, I had to take it out. I'm going to restart all over with that one somewhere else. Check out this orange spider. Weird looking, isn't it? That's just some of it. I had made a truss for it so it can grow. And that thing, as you can see, look how long that one stick is. And as you can see, it was all the way to the top of that. Those vines are going crazy. That's just one of the things I did today at the house. As you can see, all my plants are gone except for two. With all that heat we've been having, this one and one tomato plant is left. Oh, take that back. A partial one right there. You know, like it's still trying to grow. I actually cut that one off of the same plant and just stuck it in the ground. I definitely gotta water it more. Had to cut the backyard, it was kind of becoming a forest again. It's kind of hard to do when you ain't got the time to do it and you come home, it's already dark. Don't bow to me, I'm not a king or anything. Hey, Tier! What's up, Thor? What's up, Thor? <laughs> Alright. Well, anyway, distractions. Didn't have time to cut it because it's always late at night after the wife gets off and I work my time. So I got the backyard cut. Gonna cut the grass, the front yard tomorrow. Still gotta cut around here. Still gotta get the 55 gallon drums to make this happen and some PVC pipe. I'm gonna make the catch basin myself, so. Watermelons, yeah. Nothing this year. Bad part about it is I'm gonna have to put a top over the, over this thing so the pine needles won't be getting in there. Don't think they're any good for fertilizer or anything. My busted up pallet that I use for my compost pile. Seen better days, but yeah, it's still working. It doesn't help when Thing like this goes over there and starts jumping in there wanting to dig in the dirt or eat what I put in there a lot of potato peels uh, in pieces from onions and bell peppers all kind of stuff a lot of vegetables that we just use from the garden and store-bought Went ahead and threw everything that was left of the garden I had in the front in the pots into my compost. We'll be uh, tomorrow collecting all the lawn trimmings and putting them in here too. I got a, like three jars of crushed uh, eggshells and a bunch of potato peels that I still have in jars I just got to throw in here. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do multiple compost piles for different types of fertilizer or just do one big one and hope and pray from there. Or I can always do it individually for whatever I'm growing. Finally, the burn ban is over with. So I burned a bunch of cardboard and stuff like that that I couldn't use 
in my compost pile or in my raised bed gardens, which I do plan on starting sometime soon. Getting my uh, winter crops started and everything like that. Just gotta keep these boys out of the raised beds for what I'm trying to plant winter or summer garden. Yeah, this area, it's a mess. It used to be a, one of those tents that you have outside for little parties and get-togethers, but we had some severe weather come through and took it out. Just gotta clean it up. I'm thinking I might wanna put another raised bed in here, but this would be a big one. And another fun-filled time trying to keep the doggos from getting in that too. As you can see, my neighbor, he does his own too, so. I don't know if that's oranges or what, but it kind of looks like the ones that my mom has at her house. He's got a bunch on there, nice size ones, but nowhere near the amount that my mom has. Time to replace the solar light. That one went out, it got broke somehow. As you can see, it broke down there, it broke up there. Yeah, it kind of looks like the dog goes got a hold of it and started chewing on it. But this one still works. It's not dark enough for it to come on. And this one still works. I want to do a bunch of solar powered lights along my fence line. That way I have a lot of light around here and the dogs will automatically trip them and make them come on. And there's my palace that I gotta break down and turn into things. Puppers! Hey Cheer, hey Odin, hey Thor. But I found out too that the person that is renting this house to me told us that we can actually buy this house from her, rent to own. Yes, this uh, house does have a lot of issues, but it's nothing that we can't fix or don't know people that can help us out with fixing them. It's got a few electrical issues like light switches that doesn't work, outlets that keep tripping, a couple of weak spots in the floor, but what do you expect? I'm still waiting to hear from her on how much she wants us to pay a month to rent to own. Hey, it's a good opportunity. Because we can always buy this, fix it up, and turn around and sell it and buy a nice piece of property somewhere else. Pretty much in the same area, but a bigger piece of property. And build from there. Got to look at the positive on both sides. Positive and negative. It all works out. It's like a battery. You got a positive and a negative. And it's time for puppies. The one on the left is Tyr, that's the youngest. The one on the right, that's Thor. Hey Thor. And that is Odin. Hey Odin. What's up buddy? What's up Odin? Uh. <laughs> What's up Odin? What's up Odin? <laughs> Only bad thing about naming him Odin, he has two what? blue eyes. Tyr, he started out with two blue eyes had two blue eyes for the longest and now one is changing now Thor he has two blue eyes huh Thor huh oh. Thor don't let your son beat you up get him Thor so that's pretty much what I did this weekend you gotta do some oil change and tune up that's gonna be a video by itself I'm thinking about just leaving that here till tomorrow. Hopefully I get home early enough to do it. And I definitely gotta 
trim my doggy toenails. That's just them jumping on me. <laughs> Got a lot of battle scars. But it is what it is. And then I got this raised bed here. They're still debating on what I want to do with this. It was supposed to be a flower bed for the ones that I had on the porch, but as you see, nothing but grass. That was supposed to be a flower there, but it didn't grow. Still got the aloe vera plant. It looked like it was dying at first, but then because the wifey decided to stick it in a fish tank and fill it up with water. Yeah. As you see, that's dead. But the rest of it's still alive. Alrighty, people. I'll see y'all in the next video. May the gods bless y'all with a bountiful week. Later.